Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So talking again about Mary. Now she hears Gabriel, she hears him out. She hears Gabriel out. And again, at first, like we talked about yesterday, she is like quarreling and what in the world are you talking about? And, and she gives him a chance to tell the whole story and of what's going to happen. And then she says, as we all know, um, in Luke chapter 1, verses 37 and 38, Gabriel ends with, For with God nothing is ever impossible, and no word from God is shall be without power or impossible of fulfillment. And at that time, let's see, Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to what you have said. And the angel left. How in the world could Mary have just accepted what the angel said? And then when she talks to Elizabeth, she reveals all the things that she knows about what is going to happen. Um, the song of Mary, Luke 1, And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty has done great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud and the imaginations of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent away empty. He hath helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, to his seed forever. And Mary remained there about three months with Elizabeth. Um, keys in this. Um, Mary says, Whew. He has shown mercy. I lost my verse. Hold on. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. The Passion Translation says, um, because he can never forget to show mercy, he has helped his chosen servant Israel, keeping his promises to Abraham and to his descendants forever. See, Mary understood by revelation that the Christ child, the child that she was going to bear, would fulfill the promises of mercy that God gave to Abraham. And we can read that in Genesis 22, verses 16 through 18. Um, so Genesis 22, 16, that this is what the Lord has said. And said, I have sworn by myself, says the Lord, that since you have done this and have not withheld from me or begrudged me, giving your own son, in blessing I will bless you, and in multiplying I will multiply your descendants like the stars of the heavens and like the sands on the seashores, and your seed, or your heir, will possess the gates of his enemies. And in your seed... Christ, capital C S, in your seed Christ shall all nations of the earth be blessed, and by him bless others, because you have heard and obeyed my voice. Um, that goes back to what we read about when the angel came to the shepherds. He said, I have good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. See, Mary knew the promises and the prophecies. And, um, you know, there were a lot of laws in the Jewish culture. That's what kept the Jews as God's people, the Israelites, because they followed the law until Jesus came and fulfilled the law. But Mary um, 
hate to say check the boxes, but that's the easiest way to put it. She knew the promises and the prophecies. And so when the angel comes and he is telling her all these things and her mind is spinning and whirling and wondering what it all might mean, then the pieces begin to come together and the pieces begin to fit. And she's like, oh, it's the Messiah. It's the one we've been waiting for, the one we've been longing for. These are the pieces. I'm part of that plan. And she understands that this child is part of God keeping his promises to Abraham and his descendants forever. You know, I we don't like to talk about discipline because it seems rigorous. Discipline is not a bad thing. You know, I didn't point my finger right here and say, Joe, you listen. Um, routine and discipline. We have to be disciplined in order so that when we don't feel like it or when things are hard, we continue to do it anyway. We stay the course. Discipline helps us stay the course. And the discipline of learning the Torah, the law, and the prophecies um, kept Mary to get to her destiny. Kept her. That discipline of, of the word kept her and brought her to the place where when the angel told her this impossible thing, she could say, all be it unto me, according to your word. Hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.